He's such a cute, lovable devil. I should explain right off from the start that Ralph and I, there's his name, Ralph Martin. <laughs> Which proves I'm listening to what I'm saying to you tonight. <laughs> now I forgot what I was going to say about him. <laughs> That's okay. All through the evening, I'm going to demonstrate how wonderful age is once you really accept it and learn to live with it and somehow manage to thank God no matter what shape, size, tall, short, Amen. thin, fat, Amen. Uh, still with it, almost without it. <laughs> it really doesn't matter when you take advantage of just enjoying the miracle each one of us are. Yeah. We are absolutely able to totally fit without question in any manner ourselves so perfectly we have something to share. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't what I was going to say about Ralph Martin though. <laughs> I was hoping it would flash in the back of my mind while I was thinking of something perfect to say instead. As long as you don't place that right in the middle of your lap, I don't feel too threatened. We measure our safe distance by how far that can reach with doing no damage. Ah, so many platinum blondes in this one room, I think I'm going to go nuts. <laughs> Here I am in the middle of where I'm known to be naked all the time, and I'm totally dressed from head to foot. In fact, I faced a quandary last month when I played at the QIA, and I still couldn't decide really what I wanted to wear tonight now that I had an opportunity to wear clothes. So I brought several changes along with me. <laughs> that will provide a variety Ralph doesn't create. <laughs> and it will give both my hands and his one string a break. <laughs> and also tonight we're going to learn about an amazing fruit and an amazing product that's existed for, for centuries. And now, thanks to the technology we enjoy, we're able to make it, take advantage of a product that just might make the life we live at this point in our lives much more useful. I can't speak as a testimony to the product, but I can tell you two nights ago I started drinking it, and uh, I sure feel good tonight. We're going to have a great time. I don't know if the product's responsible, but <laughs> it was always my wish as a child when I saw Fats Domino at 11 years old. I said to my mother, who just didn't understand, that that's what I was going to be. She was confused by, what's he want to be a fat Domino? <laughs> I didn't want to sing his songs. I didn't want to play his music. I just wanted to be what he was, a piano phone. And it was my, my privilege in life to spend 25 years doing it, full time, covering 15 to 18,000 miles a year, living absolutely nowhere but on wheels in a van, and later a trailer with a family. And I, I did it naked, so nobody ever really forgot me. <laughs> and now that there's been over 150, 100, over, over one and a half million pages on the internet about me and my store and pictures of me posing next to a lot of, some of you folks for sure, and a lot of others just like you, it's, it's brought an old career back to life just in time as the economy fell apart to save my store. <laughs> so I'm on a mission. I'm pretending to feel exactly like I did 37 years ago, and coming out of a 20-year retirement, I discovered, mm -hmm. whoa, after practicing for 160 hours just to play one show for the first time in 20 years this summer, I discovered 
there's going to be a few changes have to be made, but most importantly, I discovered I could still do this. And uh, I had to reckon with a parameter I had set for myself years ago. I had to destroy it because now I've discovered, thanks God for the privilege, I've lived long enough to reach the point where practice no longer makes perfect. <laughs> So I will do the best I can be what I am. We'll do you a couple of tunes and then we're going to introduce you to some very special people. What makes them special is their messages from their hearts. And I think you'll enjoy what they have to say and find yourself perhaps a participant like me. I never had a sponsor before. <laughs> Why is it a 25 years career naked? No product ever asked me to represent. <laughs> Not even Trojan, but I was curious about being naked. <laughs> well, we gotta be done with that one. <laughs> I don't plan a show, you see. This show is no better than the relationship we're gonna have together. You are as much a show for me as I perhaps hope to be for you. And I hope you can enjoy this as much as I do, because it's a true pleasure to share the privilege of this real freedom together. <laughs> because they want me to get, get a little in for you in a shorter period of time so that they can present a product that will make you appreciate the time. And then we'll do a full concert right after they're all through, after an intermission, because uh, tea time's very important now <laughs> to people our age. I hope to constantly point out how comfortable we can be with age by being an example of myself. <laughs> God, I was getting over a cold back in January, and I finally felt well, and I still discovered when I was in an upright position like this, after a while, I tended to drip. <laughs> <laughs> Every show is a revelation. I want to thank God, though, at least for the bad weather we had a short while ago. It gave me a lot of practice for the opportunities I now have to wear the clothes I've owned for a million years. <laughs> 
See, when you live like me, you buy something for a quarter in the yard sale 30 years ago, and you still got it. And if you can still read the tag, it probably said made in USA. Oh, let's do it too. Back in 1971, I had a girlfriend. What I look like now, I'd be as lucky today. <laughs> Back then, if you took the age away, I had a fucking chance, you know what I mean? My smile didn't look like I grew up on a pirate ship. That's gonna get fixed now that I got a car to go next to <laughs> Could have done it as an American a few years ago, but I couldn't afford it then. <laughs> Let me get back to where I was. so that I can read what I used to be able to read real easy. And uh, this show is going to be a little easier to do one song. I sang it in the last show I did, looking like this, <laughs> and discovered my handwriting had been in a race with my eyes and vision, I guess. <laughs> because now with glasses on, I can barely read it because of how it's written. So I spent part of today rewriting it. But that's not the song I wanted to do yet. <laughs> okay, Ralph. We're gonna do nothing nowhere. Nothing nowhere. That's what I used to call my girlfriend back in 1971, my nothing nowhere. Because when I didn't have a gig, I'd go to 68 Arthur Street, Holyoke, Massachusetts. Ain't nothing wrong with my long-term memory. <laughs> and I can remember her name because I'm a man of habit. I've been married three times. Six years the first time. One year the second time. Math is not my feature, but I'm getting to the point. <laughs> and now I've been married 26 years. So obviously I became an absolute expert at being really bad, six times as fast the second chance I had. <laughs> I can remember each, each woman real well because they all had the same name. <laughs> so that's the secret. <laughs> I mean, if you fail, take a little souvenir. Make sure the next chance you get has the same name. That way by now, no matter which one you were talking about, at least you got some part of it right. <laughs> By nothing, nowhere. I used to go to her house, I'd be there like part of the family. I'd pick her kid up from school and bring him home when he was in the fourth grade. There ain't a school on earth today. <laughs> Let a guy look like me pick up somebody else's young boy and take him home. Huh? We were lucky. When we had our youth, it was really possible to enjoy being young. Nothing nowhere. Nothing, no way. I got a little nothing, a little nothing, no way. 
there And when there's no place to go You're gonna find me there I got a hundred dollar bill And I got a pocket full of dimes I get a pocket full of dimes. Now my life is cashing in one day at a time. Not a little nothing, a little nothing nowhere. But when there's no place to go, you're gonna find me there. see every day. Now here in God's waiting room, why don't we drink to the friends who had to go? The friends who missed the show today. The friends who live on in our hearts. You know what? to go, you're gonna find me there, tucked away with nothing nowhere. <laughs> 